defiant joy that exuberance you know that love of life you can't quench it that you can't uh, put that out Chicago, whatever, anyone who had lost somebody, I just thought that was it. I just, I, I felt we were honoring them, and I knew that you know, it was right. U2 was uniquely positioned to take this as an opportunity and really deliver something that was meaningful and powerful and a really intense emotional experience. When those names started coming down, those people were transported. They were no longer at a football game. Sometimes the power of music can say something that you can't really express with words somehow. So just that image of all of those names scrolling up and where the streets have no name playing at the same time, it was like a kind of cathartic, sort of gentle and graceful and honoring this thing that confused a lot of the world.
play where the streets have no name whenever we're like whenever we need God to walk through the room. It means stepping outside yourself, imagining the possibilities. It's just asking people, do you want to go on this journey together? You know, to that place, the place of soul, place of imagination, place where the streets have no name, that other place. pulls open his jacket and, and reveals the American flag. He's saying a lot of things. This is a moment of pride. This is a moment of triumph. But in the triumph, there has been great tragedy. I think the fact that they understood uh, that moment and the fact that they really knew how to communicate that moment was incredibly emotional. It was a whole different set of circumstances. It's hard to compare it to anything else because it was, it was much more than entertainment. <laughs>